Hey there guys, what's going on? It is Nock, and I'd like you all to introduce Lead Psychopath, who is joining me on Road 9 of Road to Round 20. So, um, welcome, Lead, I'm going to call you. Hello, how's things? <laughs> and um, I will apologise in advance that the um, audio between the conversation may be slightly delayed from when I talked to Lead. That's just the setup we've got here, guys. So, um, yeah, I apologise that in advance. But... Here we go, nonetheless, with Shangri-La. Hopefully, this time. I have this is third time looking for us. Same pair of underwear. <laughs> Two years now. Oh, and power's out. First time, um, some stupid bloke didn't start the capture card. Second yep. time, um, I thought I had to go off on baby duty. So hopefully, third time lucky. It's quite a good excuse, though, baby duty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, just to let you all know, guys, if you are wondering, um, I put a call out onto the internet to ask anybody who wanted to join me, uh, to join me, and, um, Lead answered my call. Yeah. He answered the call, he felt sorry for me, and, um, he decided he wanted to help me out. <laughs> yeah. I actually really like, um, I, what hey, I do really hey. like, with, with you go the fact ahead. That it's road to round 20. Yeah, as opposed to like road to round 40 or 50 or 100 or some stupid number that people will get bored with halfway through. <sighs> like round 20 is yeah. such a good idea. Well, it's, it's, it's quite nice because you, you can tend to get, I, mean, I think we stretched the asc ascension out pretty much as far as it would go. But, um,. You know, it kind of normally renders down into about four or five episodes, which is, you know, just you know, kind of like Bang a on. weekday series, which is quite nice. So, yeah, but unfortunately, since um, I kind of, we recorded everything up to Ascension before the baby came, and then um, after that, uh, Rowan, the guy I've been playing with, his um, Blu-ray drive died on his PlayStation. That's so, um, that's about mine, yeah. Yeah, he can only play, um, Anything like, uh, DLC maybe. games and stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's a, the most annoying thing, is a lot of the, the, like, Call of Duty games to download, that they're flipping full price, like, pay 40 quid. Yeah, I, I, that's I, like I, I never, I never understand this right. It's like, you look on things like the PlayStation Store and that, and you look at the price of games, and, you know, they're still the same price they were when they were new. If you go yeah. into, um, but if you if you were to go into game or any you know sort of any computer game, game shop, shop yeah. and sell it, yeah, and s try and sell a game, you get pittance for it, and they'll yeah. resell it at like a ridiculous price. Yeah, it's crazy. It really is. I'll, I'll never forget when I when just, that kind of whole thing of trading games came along. My my mate had it in back in the days of PS2. He had it in like three PS2 games and he got six pounds for it, and like. Probably for yeah, it's um, I never really understood why computer oh, nice. the price of computer games never really depreciated. Mm. It's like the same with the DLC. It's like okay, this uh, this game, for example, is like what three years old. Yeah, but you're still gonna pay the full price to get the DLC. Exactly, it's like, crazy. That's, that's another know, mental for... thing with, with ghosts, actually. Somebody somebody put a message up on, on CallOfDutyZombies.com earlier on saying that they'd reduced the season pass to 40% off for ghosts. Yeah, that's, 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 that's not, not fair. No. Coming for us. Oh. oh, God. You've got a shriek at me. You alright? <laughs> I mean, to, to an extent, though, they kind of screwed people over with... Um, Black Ops 2 though as well, didn't they? Because, oh. I mean... Oh. Um, because they originally released the game and said that uh, the Nuketown Zombies map was only going to be for um, people who pre-owned the game. Yeah. You okay to cover me? If I only had this during my fifth marriage! Oh, uh, help me to revive you. And, um, yeah, I mean, later on they just kind of reduced it to season pass holders as well, didn't they? 
Yeah, they did, yeah, because that's, that's, believe it or not, that's how, how actually, oh. Hang on, we'll make this guy cool. Sorry, I'm just having a cool. It's alright. And that was in skill. I am an idiot. Do you want to move? Do you want to go now, or? We'll, we'll go for it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to complain because that is all oh, jokes aside now. Jokes aside, um, that's how I got Nuketown zombies as well uh, yeah. for the season pass because I was in a period where I didn't have a PlayStation for a while, so I was yeah. late getting Black Ops Two. Um, so yeah, it was kind of nice to um, get it that way. But it, I, I feel for the people that kind of do spend the money and it's exactly for the exclusivity. Like yeah, 100%, like, because I know now, like, because I'm so into zombies, this, I would have definitely bought the hardest edition of the new Power is on! Would have gone Black Ops 2 Power Bus. Jeez. I'm not paying attention, so. It's alright. You wanted to hug me! I think it's that the street. Might go badly. And, yeah, yeah. we're down. <laughs> <laughs> Not a great start to our road to round 20. We'll be back. We'll be back real soon, guys, on round 5. <laughs> hey there, guys. We are back, and it is round 5. Um, we're just about to go into the uh, this area over here. So apparently, if you dolphin dive over it, it doesn't... Um, yeah, the spikes don't go up. Useful tip that I've uh, got from YouTube. I'm, uh, I'm not going to lie, I have been actually watching YouTube to glory just to try and get some tips and tricks and different bits and pieces. Uh, Shrieker. Where are you, fucker? There you are. <sighs> you still hear me? Not to fun. Oh, Max, I'm directly behind you. Ah, uh, yeah, I no, kind no. of... Yeah, no, just play it safe. Go through the door if you need to. Don't worry about me. I've got plenty of points. Not the best start, really, for either of us, unfortunately. Have a complimentary knife as you Crikey. go through. Yeah, they're still, I'm they're still coming I through. I'm anywhere near you. No, 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 don't worry about it. I've got plenty of points. It's not a problem. Out of my no zone. Oh, that'll be helpful. Watch the monkeys. Watch are, you, the monkeys. are you now watching me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No pressure. You, YouTube's watching. You two watching? <laughs> Alright! So, um, yeah, going back to our conversation uh, at the end of ra uh, round five last time um, about the, the DLCs and things. Um, so, you're saying about Ghosts and I said about Black Ops. Um, yeah. What? Yeah, it's quite this, I guess this is kind of comes down just to preference of whether you like it or not. What do you make of the. Um, of what Infinity Ward have done with like all the special field orders and things. Do you think they they've gone too far with it? With with yeah, they have. They really have. With with all the like the different announcer voices and all that that kind of micro DLC. Yeah, I, I mean more so. You know, um, so for example, um, first DLC we got with, Fog with and the, we I, had I, Michael I, Myers, and then we get yeah, Pred the Predator, Predator on and... Ruins. It's just like yeah. Uh, it's it's meant to be kind of like a, an all on all, all out war game, and then you're bringing in sort of yeah. the fantasy stuff and into stuff it, like and that. it's just like I, it's I know just... exactly what you mean because I mean like even the Snoop Dogg voice voice pack, it's just like like really like yeah, it's making money for them definitely because like like you've got crazy people that will buy stuff, but I mean like some of them I'm, I might just knife this zombie if you want. Get this uh, you know, we'll, we'll yeah, no, no, no. Bring bring me in. I can go get the Bowie knife and uh, stabby stabby. Oh, there's stabby somebody else stabby there. And I'm back in the game. But uh, but no, I I mean like I love the the DLC for Ghosts. I really do. But they've gone mental with micro DLC. Absolutely, 
absolutely yeah. insane. I, I don't mind the Predator, and I don't mind Michael Myers, and I don't mind whatever the third one was. Although, actually, actually, DLC three Invasion was a bit crazy. Well, they, they've like, got them Mariachi. Had a Michael Myers thing. Yeah, they've got like the. I can't actually remember the name of them. That yeah, it's like on that. It's ghost. on. Um, <laughs> Oh, what, I can't even think of it. It's Departed, isn't it? Departed's the map. That's the one. Um, That's you, I can you, never remember the name of it. But it's well, I, literally, I, I've downloaded the DLC and I've played each, each map once, and that is it at the moment. Really? I've literally only played yeah. them to get the um, extra XP trophy thing. Oh, we got a napalm. Oh, right. I haven't actually done that yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, I, I just think putting those... Uh, don't run this way, there's a napalm coming this way. Um, I think they've just gone a bit overkill, even with those things. Um, I just think it ruins the game. It, it kind of it, yeah, it, it takes the game well, out of context. It makes it into, into a borderline Shit. shitty game, definitely. Um, but then, Napalm's going then down I, the middle. I would. It's gone down the middle, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go run up and go get Jug. Yeah, I'm gonna join you on it. Okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you were saying. Uh, I, yeah, I, like I say, um, I, I don't I, like all this fantasy stuff that they've put into the game, to be honest. No, no. It's, it's, yeah, definitely. I mean, like, World at War is probably my favourite Call of Duty of all time. It, I, uh, personally, it's the hardest. It's very, very tough. Yeah. Um, I've, I'm still playing it at the moment. I mean, like I say, I, I missed my PlayStation for a while, and when my PlayStation died, I was actually going through and playing it on Veteran. Uh, the veteran is so really? so hard. I, I I still haven't managed to do that. Yeah, I'm on. I think I'm on about. I think, I think Modern Warfare One was was actually the only one that I've ever completed on veteran. From um, which is quite pathetic, really. But I start. No, I started playing veteran on <laughs> Modern Warfare Two, and um, ever since then I've completed every game on veteran, and I thought I'd go back and play World at War, but World at War is just Insanely difficult on veteran. They um, half of the time on the maps, there's just like a grenade fest, and the enemy's just constantly lobbing grenades and grenades and grenades at you. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You, you you just can't do anything because you know you, you're trying to move up slowly, 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 and you just keep getting freaking just bombarded all the time by grenades. Um, I need to go and hit the mystery box, I think. I'm going to try and see if the monkeys will drop me a... Uh, drop us a perk. Uh, I believe they only drop you a perk when it's a max ammo originally. Oh, right. In that case... That'll help. Oh, wow. If you, if you stab them or if you kill the monkeys, you get 500 points. Never knew that. Yeah, I was. Um, so you, obviously you've uh, you bought Ghost. You've played uh, Ghost on campaign. Yep. Finished the campaign, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I quite enjoyed the campaign actually. It was it was a bit kind of samey. Very very samey from. Um, Infinity Ward always seemed to take the same sort of. They always seem to take the same sort of path. Oh shit! Sorry, yeah. I was. I'm gonna the next max ammo I get, I'll try and save it, and we'll see if we can get a perk. But um, no, I just kind of you're stabbed, okay. and it kind of walked straight into it on that occasion. Oh shit! Napalm, explode! Oh, that's great. Um, yeah, I was very. T to be honest, what disappointed me the most was because I played it, and. I completed the veteran in six hours. I, I then oh played. God. I played for another, I think, hour, hour and a half, and I had all the single player trophies. And it was just that basically, it's just bad. you know, like seven and a half, eight hours, and the, the whole game's complete. You've got all the trophies, and it's just kind of like no replayability there at all, really. I, I just, I don't know. I, I find. Infinity Ward's veteran levels very very easy compared to Treyarch's and I think the reason for that is Treyarch yeah, have this um, there's a shrieker somewhere uh, Treyarch have a tendency to 
put in um, 